Hello guys, Suljin here. Welcome back to Let's Play Blockscape. Last time we left off guys, we had the little house set up uh, in a really nice manner. And I've actually made a couple of additions to it. I'll go ahead and hop on over. Officially we were going to put a bridge and stuff, but I'd like to introduce some plans to you. And kind of explain how things are working. I went ahead and implemented a bed. And as you can see, I didn't do too too bad with the textures. This is sand. That's birch bark and there's snow underneath but what I'm starting to find is that I'm really limited on resources for different colors and things like that and as well as I pull this off I know I can do it better with all the textures that are currently available in the game that I can't really harvest. Another thing is the scale of the house I believe is a little bit wrong now that I'm starting to get used to it when you think about it I feel like I'm taking up this space okay Really and truly, I think I'm only taking up this space, but I feel like I'm taking up this space. That's that's the perception that I have for the player model size, I guess you can call it. And the door and this space occupies like too wide. Now, if we were looking in Minecraft terms, that wouldn't be much space at all. And when you think about it, for furniture-wise, this is a little cramped. And I'm starting to think on that... Or the, the idea is that I really really need to go larger to get some better detail in here so also as you can see I went ahead and made a little chair I used the, the cylinders which are kind of bugged out for some materials but they work well with wool and I tried a few different designs and this was a pretty cool design and I also did like a little barbecue pit <laughs> or that's what it would look like I had all sorts of ideas for doing things with the dock system and um, and just in general the back patio but like I said the god mode thing appealed to me because there's so many more things that I'll be able to do with the colors I'll be able to do them so I wanted to give you guys one last look at the house that we have here and we're gonna move on to a new landscape in creative mode so when we come back guys I'll show you where I'm at and we'll give you some ideas of where we're headed <laughs> stay tuned we'll be right back alright you guys after searching around for quite a bit I found this spot here and the thing I like about this spot is that it has so much area that we can build on a lot of its flat not too much terraforming is needed and we can get all of the the spreading out that we want to without much not to mention there's quite a bit of mountains so we'll be able to do some mountain type structures and there's a little bit of water that way we can see what we want to do with uh, any water features that we have like a port or anything like that so I think as wide open as that is I think this area is a bit too small I want to say that this area is probably going to be the area that we're gonna settle in and for starters I need to build some sort of little shelter that we can call home but I'm going to do it a little bit larger than I did the other dock house now I do want to do a dock house style so I'm probably going to do it near the coast and I'm going to get a little bit of area cleared here possibly start with the framework and I'll show y'all where we're at in just a bit we'll be right back alright guys I chose this little spot right here to be the location that our first home would be and as you can see I went quite a bit larger than I did with our first home I actually went 30 by 30 with the half size blocks not the quarter blocks not the full blocks and the reason that I chose the half style blocks is that I want the full size blocks to be easy to place and to emulate large pillars and very thick walls and large structures in the same breath I didn't want single layer walls due to the fact that well single layer walls don't give you a lot of room for detail and I'll show you what I mean when I get to the windows and the portions like that so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a square base now this isn't gonna be the entirety of the house this is going to be the living room and I figured that I can do something like the bedrooms and things like that off to the side and this will be a good base to start with for the house so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the floor and I need to clear out a bit of this grass to see where I'm going with this 
and uh, naturally, like I said, we want the fantasy type theme, but I think wood might be okay for this. So I'm going to try a couple things and I'll show you where we at in just a second. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, I pretty much decided that I'm going to use the oak planks, I believe it is. And I'm going to go with one deep. That way I can do some sort of baseboard on the bottom if I choose. So we can increase our tool and go just like that. And I find if you place from the exact same direction at all times, the planks are going to continue to go the same way that you place them. Now there's a couple different axes that you can use on each board, but right now I'm using the oak plank Z. And that's going to give me the axis that I want the whole time. We just happen to break out on the, the exact block that I wanted. I tried the other planks, but they're a little bit too light. But I think this is going to work well for an inside floor, especially for our den area where our furniture is going to be and stuff. Uh, can't really do carpet or anything, so we'll have to do some... Uh, this is going to be kind of like a cozy spot, you know, our house. So we're definitely going to do some wood floors here. And when we get into some of the larger buildings uh, in what might be a town, we'll actually go towards something a little bit uh, different, maybe like stone or whatever. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this floor in, guys, and we'll meet you back here when it's time to do the walls. We'll be right back. All right, guys, it looks to me like lime is going to be the material of choice. I got all the floors down, as you can see, and the frame is still set now. Like I said, this is going to be the main room, so I'm going to have some extensions coming off of here, and we're going to play with this house design quite a bit. But I want to get some of the detailing worked out, like where in the heck is going to be my front entrance. I'm thinking that this would be a great spot for a front entrance. It's the front, it's near the water. We have a little bit of room for a yard, so we can do a little bit of gardening type stuff or landscaping. And um, naturally, the backyard is going to be much bigger. And I'm thinking a big, big castle in that area there. And um, this is going to be like um, just a town. We're going to go for that. We might do a fort, maybe some archery ranges, some barracks, a tavern. There's a bunch, a bunch of cool ideas that I have for buildings. Um, and now that I don't have to really worry about resources and we can just play around with the textures of this game, I really want to sink my teeth into what... Uh, the dynamics of this uh, this build model can do just due to the um, like I said all the detail that we can put in I can even play around with the lighting and um, and change the time of day and naturally I have flight enabled so as you can see if I need to get at a higher place I can do that now while Minecraft I would typically not do this because it's just so easy Technically, there's no challenge point in the game, and I was reading on the forums, and while it may be a little bad news, uh, Jens has decided to delay the official release of the survival mode. We were going for the 15th, I believe, and he had to put a halt on that, just due to the fact that it wasn't where he wanted it to be, and I totally respect that. Having the game not developed like you want it to be developed because of some arbitrary deadline that the developer set for themselves is not something that I think is a good idea. What I do think is a good idea is release the game when you're doing well ready. Give us some snapshots every once in a while, some new features to play with, and honestly guys, I'll be happy as a lark. I just love building, you know? And um, heck, that'll give me more time to play. Uh, other stuff now so <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna be working on this build for a while and now that I got this wall pretty much in place I want to um, I like the toothpick it just gives me so much extra options what I want to do is try to play around with the windows now I want a different style window and one of the great things about having the too thick is that we can do some cool stuff and let's see here what I think I'm going to do, let's cut out a small portion right here, and let's get a little bit wider here, and now we can probably go four, yeah, there we go, awesome, now I can maybe do some notches here, let's go ahead, 
Actually, I'm gonna have to trim it, won't I? I will have to trim it, okay. So, let's just cut out a little trim right now. And, yeah, I'm actually gonna have to trim this part out too. Hold on, I'm getting confused. If I, let's see, we're gonna have to trim like this, okay. So, we'll start all around. We'll do trim like this. There we go. This is all going to be trimmed. This is going to be something different. And the porthole is going to stay the same. Oh no. I already did the top, didn't I? There we go. Okay. Now. Now what I can do in here is line this with another type of material, namely those slabs that I had before. So let's go ahead and change this to slabs and see what happens when I line this. Now this isn't quite what I want. Let me see if a cobble brick is better. Let's see where cobble's at. The font is so small it's really hard for me to tell without looking at it up close. And my, my, my mic is in the wrong, I guess, proximity. I'm working on getting a new mic uh, stand so that I can swing my mic around a lot closer and my audio will be clear. Let's see. Or do I already have cobble? I did already have cobble. <laughs> Shoot. All right. So let's try this. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And we can leave those at a slant, I think. I think that's good. That's what I wanted, is I wanted small blocks with pattern on them. And this is going to actually go really, really well with um, with the outside, you know, since this is brick. Cobble is just, I guess it's a more of a finer version of the slabs. That's really cool. Okay, so we still need to go with some angling, I believe, and let's see. What happens when I do this? Okay, that's pretty cool. How about if I do it extended right there? Uh, that is pretty cool, I think, but it's not exactly what I want. So. thinking if I, let's see what happens here, well, that's a pretty cool deal, fill this all the way through, now let's see, can I go through here, nope, <laughs> I have to go around, window's not quite big enough, okay, so if I took that away, nope, that way and did that. Oh, silly me, I didn't open up this whole thing. I need to clear all of this out and make this cobble first. Let me play around with this window idea a little bit, guys, and uh, we'll be right back. Well, guys, to me, that looks like a snazzy looking window. <laughs> There's actually a window tool, as you can see here and it kind of just does these square blocky things which is weird because if you enlarge the tool oh wrong one oh man i didn't mean to do that um let me show you right here when you enlarge the tool it just does that which is pretty much the same thing just on a smaller basis so at any rate i think we found our niche that window is just freaking beautiful let me go ahead and uh fix my mistake here so yeah, I'm going to do a few more of these windows, guys. 
it up to size one. Yeah, we can do that. Speed it up just a little bit. And I'll also want to do a doorway, and this will be to another room naturally, and it's not going to be a regular door, it's just going to be an arch, but what do y'all think about the texture so far? Like, it's, I think it's really coming together. This is a good, solid looking wall. The window looks pretty cool. It looks authentic, it's not all glass. Um, I think on the outside, I might want to do maybe a little window ledge. I wonder what that would look like. Let's see. All right, guys, I played around with the design a little bit, and I think I found something that I really liked. If you're not low enough to the ground, you really can't angle anything uh, underneath shelves like this. So I uh, went ahead and just chose the regular cobble block, but it gives that a nice look. I actually extended it all the way around, did some walls and a door. Um, originally I had planned on just doing one window and cutting the episode, but it didn't seem like I had made quite enough progress. So I just want to show you all right quick how I accomplished this. I went ahead and went with the cobble brick like this and right here I did another one and I actually went regular all the way across here and just a few more I actually went one underneath just like that and I changed this to the angle and there you go that's a good little bracket I actually thought about doing um, the, the, the actual corner all the way around just to see how that would work and I don't know it seems maybe a little bit overkill I don't know that's a pretty good looking window might have to do that to all of them I guess I should use my fly tool since I have it now. All right, and I don't know. It looks pretty good like that. We might do one large window like that instead of all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that now. But we can work on the archway that goes into the next room. I actually wanna make this first room picture perfect but I don't know whether this is going to be my living room or what. So I guess the first thing we should do right now is just make an archway to what would be the next room. And I think I'm going to do that here. So let's go ahead and switch to the larger tool here. And we're not going to do a regular door. We're actually going to do like an archway that goes in. So let's see. From the sides, it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, I think it is, is the magic number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, eight. That's the very center. Okay. So we can choose to go there. Let's see, that's about that's one, two, three high right at. So this will be about three high as well. Okay. That looks good. And let's see should probably change my tool size by one for this. And I'm thinking this will probably do fine for what I need it to do. I'm going to need to do some corners. How's that? That's, that's what it's going to be right there. Okay. Now, I can, let's see if I'm putting in some angles and see what that looks like. Uh, well, I'm kind of going to have to do it from the side so it actually looks like an angle. Takes you a little while to get used to the block placement and how it really works. There. And we're naturally going to have to surround this with cobble too. Let me go ahead and make the rest of these done. Just like that. 
now we can actually surround this with cobble. We'll do just the inside first and see how that looks. I really like the amount of detail that you can place on everything. It's, it's amazing. Okay. Now we got cobble. It's gotta go in. And what about that, you guys? I don't know. That's pretty good. I'd like to make it a little bit more rounded, but I really don't know how. <laughs> I really don't know how. I'm not used to being able to use all these angles. I'm guessing that maybe if we did maybe a different shape here. Let me play with this top right quick, you guys, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I think I found a design that I liked. Not quite as sharp looking as the points, but still gives more of a feel of an arch. And that was pretty easy to do, so I'll just show you right quick. What I did is, oh, they're all regular slopes. What I did is just outline with cobblestone the, uh, the arch, and I went with the old um, Minecraft circle method, I guess you could say. And I did the um, the four, the two, and then the one. And normally this would be a two and then another four if we were going to make a circle. So I'm going to play around with those ideas in the future for circles and also look at some of the other mechanics that the game uses for that. Now, as you can see, the land goes up quite a bit higher right here. So without having a terraform, we probably just need to go a little bit up higher with the house level and um, I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do that yet the arch is high enough to support some small stair right here probably two stairs to get up instead of this grass being in the way and then we can start on the next section of the house right here but I think this will be good for um, a living room or a den so that's going to be the idea that we're going to keep for now. Uh, probably going to try to do a little bit of furniture for you guys next episode. And also get the ceiling on it and, um, and see where we go from there. So thank you guys so much again for watching. And as always, this is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.